the state of society. Hashtag my story, where we bring you stories of real people doing extraordinary things with their lives. Today on the show, we have Bilha Morethi, founder of Nathifu Concepts. Bilha, welcome to the show. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Myself, I'm in my early 30s and I'm a mother of two married. Um, I live in Juja and uh, this is what I do. I do detergents and uh, I also do women empowerment. Women empowerment, what exactly do you associate with when you talk about women empowerment? Being a mother, I saw that um, most of the time women, we stay in the house and complain that uh, there is no job and there is nothing we can do. So we end up being so much dependent on our husbands. Yeah. Or again, um, a young lady like you, you come to town and you meet some Kamau guy out there and uh, you're pregnant, you have to go back home. So you're like, what do we mothers do to make sure that our kids are well sustained? And uh, today, they are, uh, as much as you have your certificate, it's so hard to get a job. So we thought of um, something these moms can do at the comfort of their homes while they're looking after their children. So we identified four skills, that is cookery, uh, footwear, detergents, and branding. Skills that you can be able to start with little money and yet the returns are good. So today on the show you came with a few of your items. And uh, can you tell us what exactly you've brought to us and what these things do? Or how do we use them? Per se. Like the first one is toilet cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, it can uh, clean toilets, and mm -hmm. also it's also good for tiles. Like there are those people that their tiles are extremely dirty. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a good one. Um, it's and a product are called Insta Clean. Okay. So you're supposed to get an instant shine to your to your tiles and your toilet. Then you have dishwash, mm -hmm. it's a liquid one, and it's all uh, very good uh, with all these. They're supposed to you're supposed to be having sparkling um, dishes. Mm -hmm. Then we have a car shampoo because most of the time people use uh, a mold purpose like this to wash cars or some other settings that are very harsh to the cars. So we have a very mild product to to, to the cars. And then uh, that one is an antiseptic. Where, um, it's good for offices or even washing your house and even toilets. Mm -hmm. And then we have a hand wash. Okay. It's this one. And uh, a bath soap, a, a mold purpose bath soap. And then we have, um, not everybody is willing to, to buy this because the packaging at the time it's somehow expensive. So we are doing our, we are doing this package because it's pocket friendly to people. So we have mold papas, dishwash packed in, in this one and uh, we also have to let clean up packed in this one. Ah, interesting. So um, the branding, you do it yourself or you ask anyone else to do it for you or is it in the foundation of Nathifo Concepts? Basically what we do in branding, there's someone uh, who, once we are doing branding, they come and train. Mm -hmm. So it's those people who most of the time they do the, the branding, like um, no, the stickers, they, they do the stickers for us. And then the containers, they are the companies that does containers. So we take the, the, the containers uh, and, the, and the stickers and uh, once we have, uh, once we put the products, then uh, we end up packaging it. Well, we are going to take a short break and after we are going to learn what it takes to get into these products and into the market she's in. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We still have Bilha Murethi telling us more about her business per se and the company she's been working with, being a founder of Nathifu Concepts. So welcome back. Um, to continue from where we stopped off, how exactly do you market your products? Um, I'm, I'm actually very grateful that um, the corporate side of, in Juja and the hotels and also schools have totally embraced our concepts mm -hmm. and uh, they are like our best uh, clients. Let's say schools like Makena, Hanani and also Sumeria, secondly, mm -hmm. uh, they are among our clients. And also uh, corporates like uh, United as Juja, they have totally supported what we do. And also we have um, uh, we have individuals who uh, uh, 
are ready to take our product and support us and the women which is me mm -hmm. plus um like i said um once we train the women mm -hmm. we take them in because okay. they need capital they need experience and also they need exposure mm -hmm. so we take it we take them in so that they can be able to know uh, let's say the first time we, we give them these skills they just know um the, in in making hand wash there's a number of products but at times they don't you can't remember even their names mm -hmm. and uh, then they, they are not really sure about how to mix how do I know that um, the con the, the consistency is okay? They don't know this, but once they come now work in the company, they are able to know everything, their name. Uh, this is uh, the grams they are supposed to use and everything. Okay, so um, with marketing mainly, you manage it with the other women who support you in the production, yeah? From Fathili Moms. Yeah, those women who are, who, you know, there are people who are not good marketers. Okay. So there are those, um, at times once we take these women, we look at them, um, who is, who can be a good marketer, who is good in production. Yeah. We want to know their strengths. Mm -hmm. the, then um, once they do their production, uh, they get something. And once you go market or sell something, you still, you're, you're paid. So it depends with an individual. Okay. Um, you do your marketing. Who does the branding for you? Who designs your logos? Uh, we have the professionals who now come up with the logos. The only thing we came up with was um, the, the logo, the InstaClean logo. You see, uh, the yeah. InstaClean, we came up with that. But now the design, the, the outlook of now the packaging, mm -hmm. they came up with that. Okay. Well, I want to take you back to women empowerment and Nathie for moms. Power. Yeah. Well, um, what challenges do you face when you recruit women or rather incorporate women to your organization? What, what are the biggest challenges you face with these women and trying to make them come out from their comfort zones and do something with their lives? Um, the first one I would say that um, you know, it's very hard to make a community-based organization and a company marry. Mm. It, it's hard because um, we, we, we here we have a side where we are not making money and then we take these women now bring them in now the, com the, the company so that um, they will be able to earn it's not easy mm -hmm. but the good thing is uh, we have a number of women who totally want to work they want to earn something so it makes now it easy once they come and uh, they do their production and the like they were paid they, they go home with something it really um make them encouraged and also inspired so every single time they come in and they're like is there anything we can do so that's the bad side side of it now um on the challenges we meet um not every single time we are able to bring these women to work mm -hmm. because if at all the production um it's not um the, we are not doing mass production we can't be able like let's say we are doing something like 50 liters you can't be able to call them because uh, you won't be able to pay them and mm -hmm. still have profits okay. so for now we are really, uh, having issues with the market with the market we need to be very aggressive in our marketing True. and also have a very wide scope of uh, market so that if at all we can be able to do mass production for the company to get its share and the women to get their share your products your soaps your detergents um how can you assure me or assure your clients of how safe it is to use it with skincare and how so many products are being introduced to the market that actually create other problems yeah instead of just cleaning and leaving us clean it leaves us with skin conditions and rash and what have you do you offer assurance to your clients where your products are safe for use um for now okay the, we are still not yet gone to cabs um but our products have been tested. We have um, a number of labs that we've gone to and that tested that they're okay. And then again, uh, you know, we do these things at a home based in the bottle. Mm -hmm. So we've not, uh, we, we don't like use so many chemicals. That's the best side of it. Because most of the time, um, once you're doing like a, a wide capacity or most of the time big companies, you have um, to have a number of preservatives, yeah. which we don't, because most mo mostly our product won't last even for a year. Like uh, basically, it's six years, no, six months. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So we don't uh, pile our products with so many chemicals, mm -hmm. even though at the time, uh, no, the people at the time who stand the risk of this, this product is us. Because uh, at the time, uh, you, you forget to use the mask and uh, some of the precautions we use. Um, but for the consumer, they're, they're, very, they're very okay. They're very okay. Yeah. Like if I was to go to a dermatologist with your, your, your hand wash, I will get assurance you can use this soap. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a very mild soap. Something, it's not just for your hands. You can also do it as a, as a body wash. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Bilha, a mother, a wife, and a businesswoman. Finding this bridge to bring these three things together has been a problem with so many women generationally it's it's been coming up where women cannot handle careers and handle their families together with their children so how is it that you find this center where you can have your kids and have your your husband as well and also your business running smoothly um i would say that at times it's not easy because uh, maybe you you even end up fighting in the house because um maybe time you're supposed to spend at home you you spend it out there, maybe in business, at time even in meetings, that the actually I'm one of those uh, conservative parents that I want to be the one taking my kids to school, and um, at time being the one to feed them in the morning, and not every single day that is possible, and. Uh, there are days when like three days in a row you won't be there for your kids, like you're working or maybe you're busy, you, it's either you're doing, uh, you're in a meeting somewhere or you're doing production or delivery, so it's not easy. But what I say is, um, as a family, the best thing is um, when everybody is involved and uh, they're totally assured of what you're doing, like if at all it's the, the children, they know that mom have to go to work and this is their time. And uh, like from eight to five or whichever time, mommy has to work. And then as for the husband, uh, you have to have good communication so that he can know where you are. Because sometimes you'll come late, mm -hmm. but you know, he has to be assured that my wife is at point A mm -hmm. or at point B. Then again, what I do is, um, there were time when I would work like from Monday to Saturday, but nowadays, Saturday and Sundays, I, I spend them at home. I don't work at all. Ah, nice. So you have established a way to divide your work life from your home life and still be the same individual and manage it 24 hours a day like everyone else. Yeah. That is quite impressive. So, um, to finish up, I would like to thank you very much for coming to the show and also to our viewers. And in conclusion also, um, we have several youths and other women, young mothers, also unemployed youth, that would like to know what will take them out of the couch. Uh, what I say is uh, there's so many things we can do out there. At the time, uh, we have been uh, used to have this so-called comfort zone. Mm -hmm. where, um, the only thing I can do is get employed. Like, like, like let's say um, you, 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 you have done maybe something like uh, catering, uh, you have done something like photography. You, 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 you just sit there and wait for someone to employ you. I say, don't do that. The best you can do is look for a niche. Like, I can do this. Let's say, like, let me say a niche. Like, um, if you're in catering, you can start up a small hotel, even if it's kupika chapati or something. Mm -hmm. You know, a time we just wait, want to start big and all that. Something like this. We just started something like 5k and right now we, we are doing good. So the little you have, just find where you can start and invest in the little. Invest in the little. True. Um, in the event that I would like to purchase some of your products or our viewers would like to purchase your products, how would we be able to gain access to you? Can we get a phone number or your email address or even social media accounts? Uh, we have both. We have for Nadifu Mom Spa in Facebook and uh, Nadifu, Mom, N Nadifu Concepts. And we also have a very active uh, Twitter handle, uh, Nadifu Mom Spa. And uh, we are in Juja, Kobil. And uh, as for the number, is 0726 274745. Do you mind doing that again, your number? 0726 274745.
for five. Okay, thank you. And to you, our viewers, we want to thank you greatly for joining us on the show. You are with me, Melissa McKenna.